Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisance to Sok Lutashiva Prabhupada. We welcome devotees to our morning Bhagavatam class. This morning the class will be given by His Holiness Chandramali Swami and he will be speaking on Canto 1, Chapter 7, Verse 41 and we are in the middle of the chapter entitled The Son of Drona Punished. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. And it's all yours, Maharaj. So, Petya Swasiviram Govinda Priya Saraditihi Navadayatam Priya Yai So Chantya Atma Jan Hatan translation after reaching his own camp arjuna along with his dear friend and charioteer she krishna entrusted the murder unto his dear wife who was lamenting for her murdered sons the transcendental relationship of arjuna with krishna is the is the dear most friendship in the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord himself has claimed Arjuna as his dear most friend. Every living being is thus related with the Lord by some sort of affectionate relationship, either as servant, as friend, as parent, as an object of conjugal love. Everyone can thus enjoy the company of the Lord in the spiritual realm if he at all desires and sincerely tries for it by the process of bhakti yoga omajyan timiran dasya kena jana salakaya chaksuvin malitam yena tasmai shri gurudeva maha ma om vishnu padaya krishna prasthaya bhutale shri mahti bhakti vedanta swami iti namane namaste Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pachari Nenir Vishesha Sunyavadi, Pastyatya De Satarine, Avancha Kalpa, Turu Vischa, Kripa Sindhu, Vaivacha Patitanam, Pavane Gyo, Vaishnava Gyo, Namaha Namaha, Jai Sri Krishna Chaitana, Arunitananda, Shri Advaita Gadadara Srivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare In this world we have relationships with different categories of living entities. Someone may be our husband, our wife, our lover, Someone may also be our parent. We may be someone's child. We may be someone's parent also. Uh, we have friends, different types of friendly relationships with various types of people. Some intimate, some less intimate. Uh, we do activities to serve other people. Sometimes we call that occupation, but it's more than just occupation. We do general activities. For people in general, it's called just general service. And we may admire someone, we may appreciate someone without any having any active relationship in that appreciation. It's more like gratitude or appreciation. So these are the different relationships that we see in this world. So this, the material world, or at least the arrangements in the material world are reflections of the original arrangements in the spiritual world. And the object of that relationship is Krishna. So here it's mentioned that we have a relationship with Krishna as either as a friend, as a servant, parent, conjugal love, some sort of affectionate relationship mm -hmm. that is eternal. Jivir, Suruboy, Krishnera, Nityadas. We are eternally related to Krishna in devotion. And that relationship takes on different moods 
or sometimes the word is used mellow. Mellow means the mood of relationship. Sanskrit, the word is rasa. Um, rasa has no particular English translation in the word. The closest thing you can do is mellow. Mellow means pretty much the flavor of that relationship. So we see in this world, these relationships are reflections of the eternal relationships that we and all living entities have with Krishna in the spiritual world. And uh, here we're hearing about the Sakya relationship with Krishna as friend, as Sri Arjuna. So this is one of the, we call five mellows, five rasas with Krishna. So sometimes we see in religious traditions, they see God as the father. And uh, that is very nice. And it's also correct. God is the, Krishna also says that Ahambija Dada Pita, that I am the seed giving father of all living entities. But he is more than just that relationship. We can have relationships with Krishna, like we have relationships in this world in terms of the, of the categories. Of course, the relationship, the actual substance of the relationship is different. The categories are the same. <laughs> So what we see in this material world is just a reflection of the reality. So this material world is just like a mirror. When you hold something in front of the mirror, the object is reflected in the glass and you see something that is of the same thing that is happening outside of the mirror. So we have these relationships with the with people in this world as friends, family members, lovers, uh, parents, um, husband and wife, all of these things. But in the, this world, there is always oh, they are fraught with um, what we say inebriates. The word inebriates means that there's always difficulties in these relationships. And they're always temporary also, because everything in this world is of the same nature. It comes, it develops, it stays, it, work, it, it, it stays for some time, produces some byproducts, and then it gradually dwindles, and then it's gone. But our relationship with Krishna is not subject to the time element. And therefore, it has substance in it. It has no inebriates. There's no difficulties. It is, it's, it's eternal. And it's, and it's uh, chinmaya ras. It's, it has substance. It is, chinmaya means it is eternal, spiritually endearing. And so that is our situation. So the goal of Krishna consciousness is to serve the Lord. And as we make progress in our service, as we continue to make advancement towards the goal of life, which is love of God, pure love of God, at one point, uh, we will start to understand a little bit more about that relationship in terms of its designation, such as you know, servant, friend, parent, or object of kind, conjugal love. And then in these higher levels of bhakti practice, one develops that mood. And then when it becomes uh, more advanced in that mood, we actually exchange loving relationships with Krishna in that mood. Of course, in the material world, it cannot reach its perfectional stage because this world is what it is. There's no perfection in this world. It's always temporary and fraught with some difficulties. But in that spiritual relationship, if we were to leave the body, then we would, have, having reached perfection, we would be exchanging 
loving relationships with Krishna in one of these five rasas in the spiritual world. And that is the actual perfection of our existence to return back to the spiritual world. Um, this material world is what it is. It's called Martyaloka. It's a place of death. No one can stay here. No one can be happy here. Um, the materialists have this idea that this world can give you happiness. All you have to do is continue to understand how that is happening and make arrangement to make it happen. They don't see that this world is full of suffering and misery. They think the misery is there, yes, but we, if we just keep adjusting, changing, altering, trying to bring about happiness in different ways, we will reach a stage where we can be happy all the time. But this is just one big illusion. You can adjust forever and all you ever will do was just adjust because we are not meant to live into this world nor are we are meant to find satisfaction and peace. It's like trying to find happiness in the jail cell. <laughs> there might be some time in the jail cell where the suffering is less, but still being in the jail is restrictive, confining, and there's always some form of suffering. So one should not try to uh, perfect their material relationships without understanding that it is, the, in, in other words, material relationships are based on sense gratification. And therefore there's no perfection in that relationship. So coming into this material world when we have relationships with our friends and family members and lovers and like that, we try to adjust those relationships in line with spiritual principles. In other words, in the mood of service. And then we can somehow ameliorate or lessen all of these sufferings in this world and somehow go on. But going on means to cultivate our relationship with Krishna. So how do you do that? Well, you engage in devotional service, but if you have a particular inclination towards Krishna in a certain mood, that inclination may also be your eternal relationship with Krishna, but it may not be. It could be some just stimulation of the mind and thinking in that way, or there may be indications that it's something, but we do have an eternal relationship with Krishna in one of these five rasas. So when we start to feel attraction for particular relationships after engaging in devotional service, we, in order to cultivate that mood, just to see if that is our actual mood, we read about or hear about the eternal associates of Krishna who have that particular mood that we are attracted to. So again, in this case, like we want to develop friendship. So we might hear a lot about Arjun and his relationship with Krishna and the mood that he develops in that relationship with Krishna or one of the other cowherd boys. If we have a parental attraction, we may also follow in the footsteps of Nanda Maharaj, Mother Yasoda, or any of the Gopas or Gopis in Vrindavan who are in the parental role in relationship to Krishna. Or and then, of course, the Gopis and uh, the, the Gopis in Vrindavan and the Queens in, uh, in Dwarka. These are all Sakya, uh, and that's Sakya, Swakya and Parakya Rasas, uh, lawless love and uh, marriage marital relationships. So we can hear about, read about, and also develop a mood of service towards that living entity whom we become attracted to. And in due course of time, if we cultivate that, 
if that is not our relationship eternally, then that living entity who we serve and worship and hear from will guide us to where we're supposed to be. If not, then we will cultivate that relationship as we develop more hearing and chanting and surrendering to Krishna in devotional service. So it's a process. The process is very sweet. It's very nice. It's very edifying. And it is actually our eternal nature to serve Krishna in a particular way. Now this is the uh, statement that's being made, made here. And so Prabhupada said, Everyone thus can enjoy the company of the Lord in the spiritual world. If he at all desires, sincerely tries through the process of bhakti yoga. So one of the qualifications for success in our efforts to pursue bhakti yoga is to know happiness in this material world or we keep trying to find happiness by trying to adjust the material situation this way and that way. We find that until we are convinced, not just theoretically, but in a complete understanding that there is no happiness in this material world, only then can we sincerely execute the process of bhakti Otherwise, we will always find ourselves coming in and out of bhakti and not making very much advancement. If you still think the prison house is nice, then you might get a better jail cell and you might get more opportunities in the prison to watch television. You may also be a, an honorary prisoner, which you can move about in the prison a little bit more than the normal prisoners. But still, you're in the jail cell, still you're confined, still there is suffering there. So giving up this idea that there is any happiness in the material world is the way to accelerate our devotional process. And that has to be done uh, with complete determination because the material energy will always provide opportunities to attract us towards material sense gratification. The activities that we do in order to maintain the body, such as family members and occupations, can be used in Krishna service when we learn the art of dovetailing them, these relationships for the service of the Lord. So they, are, they can also be spiritualized and must be spiritualized otherwise these relationships will also drag us into the wrong consciousness that this is my husband, this is my wife, this is my children, this is mine, Janasamoham Yamaham Mameti. None of these things belong to us. We are simply eternal servants of Krishna, and everybody else that we have a relationship with in the material world is also Krishna's eternal servant. So we come together as straws come together by the movements of the waves in the ocean and we have a relationship for a little while. When, when we make that relationship based on service to each other and service to Krishna, then that relationship is elevating and it's very satisfying and it's free from the inebriates of the material world. But in the material world, we seem to, we have a tendency to try to play the role and thinking that we are the role that we play. We have to understand as, as Shakespeare says, the, the entire world is a stage. And I was reading something yesterday from the Bhagavatam in the 10th canto here. It says, let me see. Uh, it's a purport where this is from chapter 54, The Marriage of Krishna. Shakespeare says, all the world's is, the, is a, all the world's a stage. Beyond the somewhat observed theater of material existence is the real and meaningful world of Krishna consciousness. 
a liberated life of pure souls devoted in loving service to the Supreme Lord. So that is our, that is our actual goal. So even we see some materialists who are a little bit advanced, they understand what this world is. It's simply something that we do, get it over and then go on with our real business. And so one should think not only in terms of service, but how can I serve Krishna? What is that mood? And then follow the process. There is, there is um, this, this particular type of bhakti where one cultivates the mood, one's internal mood based on associating with one, one's eter, uh, one of Krishna's eternal service is the beginning of, of spontaneous devotional service. Bhakti, sadhana bhakti is divided into vaidhi bhakti and raganuga bhakti. Vaidhi bhakti simply means we begin by following rules and regulations. And then when raga, rules and regulations become routine, and then we start to move towards a more natural and spontaneous activities in devotional service. And then we start to awaken attraction for Krishna in a very uh, regular way. We can also in, in, inspire that a relationship with Krishna we can increase it if we practice thinking of Krishna uh, in a loving way how to serve him hear about him uh, hear about him if you have a particular type of mood that you like hear about him with his friends in the mood of Sakya rice or hear about him with his parents in the mood of Vatsaya Ras, or with the gopis in the mood of uh, Madhurya Ras. So this hearing process, along with developing the service attitude towards one of Krishna's eternal servants, helps to develop our mood in devotional service. And as Prabhupada says, when the candidate is ready, the spiritual master will come. And I don't misunderstand this statement. Prabhupada said, will come and enlightened his disciple in that mood of loving relationship when one is actually ready. And so you can't force it. All you can do is cultivate it. It's like when you plant uh, a seed into the ground, you do everything is necessary for that plant to grow, but the plant grows on its own. Okay, so I'll stop there and see if there's any discussion on this particular topic. Thank you so much, Maharaj. It's a very deep topic and uh, really food for thought to digest because it's, it's a pretty, you know, amazing topic. I would like to ask devotees if there are any questions, any clarification, please, um, do uh, either unmute yourself and ask the question or raise your hand. I'm going down the list to see if there are any hands raised. Uh, are there any questions, devotees? Marge, I have a question while others are thinking is, um, you, and this is such a deep topic, like I was saying, you know, how devotees or, um, we we act in a certain way and Marge, please correct me if, if i'm wrong we, we we act in a certain way we are attracted to a certain mood while we're practicing devotional service that may or may not be our eternal relationship in the spiritual world how can is much is is it important i think is the word to really know, uh, you know, to really be attracted to a particular rasa, or can we just be in the mood of just das, das, anudas? Well, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says devotional service must come to the spontaneous platform. Otherwise, it's, it, will be, it will be incomplete. So the part of developing that spontaneity, I mean, Shiva Ram Maharaj has write, wrote in a book called Spontaneous Devotional Service, where he covers this, this uh, particular topic in detail. 
And he also talks about spontaneous devotional service within ISKCON. You can find it's a little, not very long book, maybe about a hundred pages, maybe a little less, red color cover, uh, spontaneous devotional service. You can get, I think, all the information you need to know about this subject matter and how to apply in your own Krishna consciousness. So, but it is part of our bhakti and that's mentioned both in the Shastras and also in Maharaj's book. It's not complete if we don't come to spontaneous devotional service, which is the second half of our execution. We are spontaneously attracted Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Prasadu Kavonoi Sravanadi Siddhi Chitte Kodiye Udoi. In the hearts of all living entities, pure love for Krishna automatically exists in a particular mood. <laughs> so to uncover that mood is the goal of bhakti. So um, like I mentioned, if you are inclined to a certain mood, take shelter of, of a eternal associate who is in that mood, pray to them, serve them, and at the same time, engage in devotional service accordingly under the guidance of your spiritual master. And if it's not in your eternal mood, you will understand it in due course of time, but you will never understand it unless you practice that process. <laughs> And it develops internally, just like someone was criticizing Bhima, Pandava Bhima, that he is just so like, you know, big, powerful warrior who has a tendency to eat large amounts of food. He's called Vikradar, one who has a belly like a wolf. And, you know, he's engaged in fighting. And so someone was criticizing him to Krishna about his outward activities. Krishna revealed to that person what his internal mood is, Bhima's internal mood. And that's explained that Bhima is constantly offering flowers at the lotus feet of the Lord in devotion within his heart and within his mind. So when one starts to cultivate that mood, it becomes an internal mood. And one can develop that internal mood. It's a little advanced, but you know, this is the process. The process is not to stay neophyte <laughs> forever, you know. <laughs> if you stay neophyte, that means you just take another birth. You have to get it right <laughs> eventually in one of these births. So yeah, the opportunity is available. And Lord Chaitanya, you read, Lord Chaitanya talks about spontaneous devotional service. But I I recommend highly Shiva Ramaraj's book because I found that the most clear, concise, and and um uh, to directly to the point and relevant to those of us who are practicing Krishna consciousness under the guidance of Srila Prabhupada. Maj, if I can add one more question before I go, go to Mansi and Diptesh. Um, you were mentioning, Maj, about praying to the eternal associates to develop that mood. And we, what I have noticed, Maj, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, like I have read a lot of pastimes of Mother Ladini, you know, how she gave her life in Liberia. And I was reading about Mother Kulangana in UK. Such devotees, Marj, just reading about them, Mother Jamuna, you know, just reading about them, it just catches at least my heart, you know, like, wow, look at their dedication. Now, can we pray? to develop that kind of mood, Mars, like from just our those that we know or don't know, but I've heard about them, like Mother Kulangana, Mother Jamuna, Mother Ladini. Yeah, yeah, the soul, every soul is has pure love for Krishna. So it's there within each and every one of us. 
It just has to be brought out by the process of bhakti. Yeah. Thank if you, you look Mark. at you, you might look at yourself from a material point of view, but that's not really you. Thank you, Maharaj. Mansin Diptesh, please uh, go with your question. I apologize. Yes. Um, Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Um, Maharaj, I had a question, but that uh, got answered in your response to uh, Mataji's question before. And it was, uh, if there is a mood that you are inclined to, my question was, should you verify and confirm and discuss this with your spiritual teacher? Um, yeah, only, not, only, you, yes. not with anyone else, only with your spiritual teacher. Okay, Maharaj. Thank yeah, you. You, you, even if you think you know it and you make it public to others, you will, you will lose it. It becomes lost if you talk about it in a very, you know, free way. It's like when, when Prabhupada was asked, who, who are you in the spiritual world? Prabhupada said, uh, that you do not require. In other words, it's none of your business. <laughs> but then he, when he was asked the second time, another time someone else asked the same question. He said, if I told you, you would faint. <laughs> The Prabhupada knew who he was in the spiritual world, it was clear, but he never said who he was to us. People, there was a book written about Prabhupada trying to understand his mood, <clears throat> but none that's somewhat inconclusive <laughs> based on the statements he said. So yeah. It's only should be discussed with your spiritual master, no one else. And if your spiritual master is not personally present, then if you have a shiksha guru who you've been working under guidance like that. Thank you, Maharaj. And Maharaj, one more question coming out of that one. Uh, I've heard uh, and also read about certain other Gaudiya Sampradayas, which are also authentic, where they reveal the eternal connection uh, after some time and, more, and they reveal the Madhurya connection and in that who you specifically are and things like that. I, I don't really understand that, but they seem to be authentic Sampradaya as well, but they seem to reveal that very quickly. Well, and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, I think Bhakti Vinod Thakur was the first and there is a thing called Siddha Pranali. Siddha Pranali is a certain stage of bhakti where you take shelter of a guru who initiates you in your, in your eternal relationship with Krishna. In there, there is 11 characteristics that make up that relationship. You know, your, your particular bodily form, your dress, your color, your residence, your mood of service. There's 11 points to that. And uh, Bhakti, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, and then my, mostly Bhakti Siddhanta, removed that whole process because people were taking it pretentiously and cheaply and saying, well, I'm, this, I'm a gopi, I'm this, I'm that. And then... Um, so Prabhupada, when Prabhupada was asked, it is a bona fide part of our prac practice, but Prabhupada, you know, didn't he followed in the footsteps of the spiritual master, knowing that, especially in Kali Yuga, people like to to uh, pre be, be, you know, pretentiously say, "I'm like this, I'm like that." Now that even happened in Iskon, in I think the year 1970, maybe even where there was a Gopi Baba club that was, that got together with about 50 devotees that were meeting and discussing their relationships with Krishna and Vrindavan. And they were also acting in that relationship by dressing up accordingly. 
when you can hear it on a discussion tape with Tamal Krishna Goswami, who was informing Prabhupada about this Gopi Bhava Club, who was in Los Angeles in America. Prabhupada said, stop it immediately. And when the word got out that Prabhupada wanted it stopped and the devotee really stopped it. But some people broke away from our movement and continued that. And I had personal association with one person who was actually doing it and he was going to different meetings like that. I was actually living with him and he was, he would go, he wouldn't tell me about the meetings, but he would go to these meetings. So it's not against our tradition in essence, but because people don't know how to practice it properly, therefore when Prabhupada did kick it out, um, continued to follow his guru's advice by not uh, uh, introducing it into the society. When I asked Prabhupada, how will we know? Prabhupada said, when you're ready, the spiritual master, he said, I will come and enlighten you in your internal relationship. But you develop it. If you practice it properly, you'll start to understand what it is. And, and it develops internally, not externally. Thank you, Maharaj. This, this clarifies. Thank yeah, you. I think if you just read that book by Shiva Ram Maharaj, Spontaneous Devotional Service, all the questions and the process is nicely answered and uh, explained in that book. It's the best that we have. It's delineated from all Shastras, all the information. Yes, Maharaj. <laughs> Thank you, Prabhu. Such a nice question. And thank you for adding more to your question. Are there other questions from devotees? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Prabhupada, all glory to Lord Speak. So when you were talking about, first of all, wonderful lecture. We always learn so much from you and how you, you know, put things. It's, you have your own unique way of describing things that really gets to the heart. Um, so we're fortunate to have you. When you were talking about the Spontaneous Devotion Service, that book by uh, Shiva Ram Swami, then I checked it out. So I just want to, you know, put it out that it's on SRS Books, Shiva Ram Swami, srsbooks.com. Many books are there by him, and one of them is The Awakening of Spontaneous Devotion Service. Yeah. It's a regular book or an e-book. You can have both of them, either one of them. I just want to put that out. Yeah, I think if you want to really get a clear understanding of everything that we've been discussing in detail and everything that Prabhupada said in relationship to it mm -hmm. and how it applies to you, that's the book mm -hmm. you should read. I think it was okay. it's a phenomenal you know presentation on this this topic, mm -hmm. which has always been remaining a mystery because in our society, we kind of like, we avoid that. But it should not be avoided. It's not meant to be avoided. It's meant to be understood in the right context. Yes, and practiced in the same way, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Other, other questions from devotees? Um, Deeptesh Prabhu, you, you have your hand up. Do you have a question, Prabhu? Uh, no, sorry, Mataji. That was from it's before. It's okay. I just didn't want to know, you not ask you because I didn't know if you had a question. Thank you. Thank you. Are there other questions from devotees? This is such an amazing topic. And um, very, very deep, actually. Marge, um, okay. go ahead. Yes, All yes. Right. This is a quick question. Why are you missing your association? <laughs> <laughs> coming coming to this area, is that possible? I know you, you've been to Europe now, London, um, America. Is that in the works anytime soon? I just wonder. Uh, you, you have some kind of perception in your consciousness which has revealed something that may happen very soon. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 
And when the time comes, as, as we say in this, when spontaneous devotional service develops, you will know it. So when the time comes, we will know it. <laughs> so, and and yeah. as a joke, I'll have the bread ready too. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know I mean? I'm, I'm in the planning stage right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's in it's in the advanced part of the planning stage, not just. The <laughs> oh, beginning. good. Mm, all right. And uh, I know what you mean. Thank soon, you. soon everything will be revealed accordingly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Mother Gita. I think has a hand up. Yes, Mother Gita. Please do ask a question, Mother. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my most humble obeisance. I just heard you talk about the planning stage. If you may please keep put Atlanta also in that planning, please. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so thankful, uh, grateful they, uh, for your kind invitation and enthusiasm. Uh, but everything has is under the guidance of higher authorities. I'm just a puppet in the middle of here somewhere. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marge. We definitely look forward to your visit. Marge, I do have a question, of, and this is such a deep topic because um, we 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 I, I feel I guess for me sec, being a second gener trying to be a second generation devotee, you no know, we have got so much mercy just by being surrounded by so many proper disciples, and being in a female body you know I, I've been so fortunate to be under the training of Mother Kalini I've been um, so much in you know uh, being exposed or being in the association of so many senior Vaishnavis of your proper disciples that uh, sometimes we wish or we pray, oh my gosh, how can we become like them? How can we get that mood? How can we be so surrendered? And then at the same time, Marge, we come across situations where devotees are so eager in, in, in the early stages of the Krishna consciousness, they are so eager to know, but what is my Siddha Sura? What is my Siddha Sura? Like they go um, uh, bounty hunting kind of a thing not really understanding the real meaning of that relationship. How can we help devotees in that situation, Maharaj? <laughs> well, if they do it in the right way, that's fine. But if they, if they don't know the process, then it's all speculation and it's also can be very offensive too. So yeah, there's a way to do it. But you also should be been practicing devotional service for a few, a number of years before you actually start even considering that. It's not something you just begin with. It uses by spontaneous devotional service really starts to manifest itself on the platform of Ruchi or Shakti, which is around the sixth and seventh, uh, you know, stages of bhakti. And so the thing is that we still, if we're still honeycombed with an artist, if we still have so many material desires and so many material tendencies you know we should work on that first <laughs> instead of you know being so eager for these higher mellows yeah. that will come when we start becoming free from all the anarchas that's why it's not been given a authorized practice in our society because Bhakti Siddhanta, very much so. Bhakti Vinoda, of course, started it to that these groups, even actually Bhakti Vinoda, of course, also, they could see that, you know, so many, what we say, asampradayas were developing based on these understandings or these mental, you know, fluctuations with the idea that, 
you know, we are of this particular rasa or whatever. Yeah. We have to see how Prabhupada dealt with it. And even when he talked about himself, he didn't reveal anything. And he told us, you know, it will come if you follow the process. Hare Krishna Maharaj. That brings me to a point that um, I'd like you to comment on because for some of us, it's quite sensitive. Um, without mentioning names, because this is sensitive, I'll just make this statement that there are some initiated devotees that are thinking already that they are, you know, qualified to somehow connect with Krishna and the gopis and their relationship in Vrindavan. I'm talking about this kind still now, the word is here. Uh, initiated by, by your God brothers and so on, you know, but they are thinking that way already. And sometimes they act or even refuse to take your simple um, service in a humble way that they kind of ignoring that, thinking that they are, you know, because they've heard pastimes uh, tenth canto type pastimes in Bhavatam, and they've been excited about it. They say they're excited about it. So now, regular devotion service and things in the in the previous cantos are not taken so seriously by them. And sometimes they can be quite troublesome to to managers and so on. They don't want to follow you know the simple services and so. On. What they, to do are, about this situation? Are they spontaneously chanting Hare Krishna? <laughs> um, I doubt it. <laughs> I don't well, know, but I, he, I, would, I doubt it. Just put it that way. Because Lord Chaitanya gives a formula. Chanada Pisa Nichena. Tayori Vasu Hishnana Mani Namamanani. Kirtaniya Sadarahi. By cultivating mm. that mood of bhakti, and then Kirtaniya Sada, one can chant the holy names of the Lord constantly. So if they haven't yeah. come to that, that stage, then it's all, you know, some imagination. <laughs> Hmm. Thank you, my eyes, for bringing it up. As you were asking the question and you brought up Trinata Peace and Nietzsche, now, then I thought Amani Namanade, which uh, has been uh, translated um, by quite a few devotees, uh, higher level devotees, including Radha Maharaj, that we should respect others but not expect respect from them. That's come from you also. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't see that among those people. Quite frankly, I do not see that among those people. It's an ego situation that don't normally they get into. That as soon as he said that, that's what I thought of. Yeah, yeah, just ignore it. Okay, now I got my answer now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Any other questions from devotees? Any uh clarification from anyone on this amazing, really deep topic? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Our glory is to Srila Prabhupada and our glory is to you. Uh, thank you very much for this, uh, this uh, very deep topic. Uh, I was just uh, thinking that uh, many times uh, we, we used to share with uh, each other, uh, devote, amongst devotees, uh, the, uh, our realizations. And uh, so, how, and, and you mentioned that it's not good to share these confidential uh, type of things and uh, how it's possible to to uh, decide if something is uh, okay to share with uh, others or something is okay to share with uh, confidential friends or something is just for for the spiritual master oh realizations can be philosophical understandings of the, the philosophy or experiences in devotional service but then again if you're cultivating krishna consciousness and you're you're having some experience with Krishna within your heart. Those you don't talk about. Those you don't talk about because, first of all, it sounds pretentious. It sounds egoistic. It may be true, but it's not important that it's, you don't have to discuss that. And when you do discuss it, you, you'll, you'll find it'll, you'll lose it. I can give you a personal example that I was giving, this is somewhat related, I was giving classes in America, and there was this one very nice lady who was coming, 
she was young, Indian body, she was coming to my classes. And then she would mention in class that, you know, Prabhupada's coming to her in her dreams and she's having a relationship with Prabhupada. She would bring it up in class. And then I would just, you know, remain quiet and kind of like change the subject. So she did it. And then the second time she did it when I was there, I said, well, if you continue, you will uh, find yourself not having that experience anymore. So you just keep it to yourself. And then uh, about a year later, I met her. We were both traveling. We just happened to meet in an airport. We were both traveling from Bombay back to, I think, Chicago or somewhere. London, that's where, Bombay to London. And I met her. She came up to me and said, Maharaj, <laughs> I, I should have listened to you. And now Prabhupada's not coming anymore. So, yeah, that experience she was having it was true. There was no doubt about it. You could tell she was genuine. But you're not supposed to make that public. It's, not, it's just not the way to do it. It stays, you keep that. Like that. And then it'll, it'll more nice and more grow organically. I see. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's interesting because uh, about dreams, it's, uh, you know, uh, when, when I, I have some, some dreams, I, I usually cannot even uh, decide if it's something uh, which, uh, which just uh, from the day's impressions or or it has some meaning and uh, you, can, you can discuss it with your spiritual master that you can do but no one else because you, they're not in the position yeah because um yeah that you can discuss with your spiritual master you can reveal your heart in that way when but when you're with devotees and you're just having satsang you talk about philosophical or spiritual principles, you can talk about these things quite openly and inspiring each other by your own realizations. But when it comes to relationships with Krishna like that, then those things remain hidden. Thank you, you very much distinction. for the distinction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I suppose, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, Prabhupada I, I talks so. about, he, he said Prabhupada was, was, was just pointing out some defect. He said, yeah, there was one lady, she would come and say, oh, you know, Krishna came to me last night and he was pulling on my sari. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is, you know, Prabhupada wanted to show that this is just some pretense or some egoistic thing like that uh, yeah. but then again there are there are there are dreams that ghosts may take the form of a spiritual being and appear in someone's dream and that per person may think that that's the actual person and i had an experience with that also with one aspiring disciple was telling me oh but Prabhupada's coming and then I asked well what, what is Prabhupada doing and she explained and I said well it's not Prabhupada she said no no it is Prabhupada I said Prabhupada doesn't act like that and then later on she came back and said you were right Maharaj it was a ghost <laughs> so you know you have to authenticize these things with your spiritual master because um, the activities of the great souls and the Lord that are mentioned in the Shastras have to correlate with your experience. If they don't, then it's something else. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. yeah, because... For I, I for many for for a long time I, I didn't even know how to approach uh, this uh, dream topic because I, I can also feel that uh, I I heard it when someone speaks about a dream and uh, and and it somehow feels weird and mm -hmm. I mean I understand it because that's someone else's uh, 
personality and relationships and uh, so it's it's uh, sometimes it's uh, difficult to understand uh, even are you coming to jad mastery here in slovenia uh, no guru maharaj i may not even it, it may maybe that i i want to be able to go to jamastami in hungary because i'm i'm still sick oh, oh okay all right take care of your health but if you get well in time we're doing a jamastami on monday and Prabhupada on tuesday okay are there other questions from devotees? Other clarification? I don't want to miss anybody. I'm just going down the list here. Okay, if there isn't, Marge, would you like to end with one round of chanting, Marge? Would you are you available? Yeah, to let me. Anything? Yeah, I'll have to uh, take. I'll be right back. I just need to secure my beads. That's fine, Marge. No problem. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Okay, we can begin. We begin with the invocation prayer, which is also the Maha Mantra. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasadi Gaur Bhakti Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna. Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. 
Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Ram 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 Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Bo. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for a wonderful, deep class. And thank you to all the devotees for joining us. Vancha ka pribyas cha kripa sindha beva cha. Patita nam pava nebhyo vaishnava nebhyo namo namaha. Shila Prabhupad ki jai. His Holiness, thank you for me ki jai. Thank you so much devotees. Have a wonderful day. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We got so many nice devotees here. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna